Hi guys, welcome back to video number two. So, so far we've registered you with CFX and we've done it with our Gmail account. So now you want to buy your trade impact, but to do so you need to do it in Bitcoin. And if Bitcoin is new to you, then it can come across a little bit scary. So there's a few things we're going to set ourselves up with to make the journey, well, simple. In fact, you'll become a Bitcoin pro. Because the longer you do this, the more you're going to learn and you'll be surprised that it's nothing really. So the first thing we're going to do is jump to Exodus. So let's have a little look at this online. This is what it looks like. You can either do it on the desktop or you can do it on your mobile phone. I've got it on both. Now at Exodus, you don't actually set yourself up with an account. You download it on your phone and that in itself is your account on the phone. So if you lose your phone, well, you lose your account. So you're probably thinking, how do I actually secure this? Well, what you would do is go to security and write down the 10 words. There's 10 words there that's linked to your account. Write them down and keep them safe. That's the only proof that you have that account. So once you've actually filled it up with money, you want to set usual passwords, do usual bits on there. It doesn't actually even take your name, but it doesn't have to. It's a Bitcoin wallet. So for now, what we're going to do is just, just set it up, download it onto your phone, download it onto your desktop, write down those security words and keep it there because we're going to need this in a bit when we actually transfer our Bitcoin to Exodus. This is our middle ground. This is our Bitcoin wallet. This is where we're going to keep it all. Um, but we're then going to move on and explain exactly how you're going to get money onto there. So that's Exodus. Download that onto your phone now. Now, from my journey with CFX, I've gone through different products to move my money from my bank um, to Exodus. Um, even though, really, you only do this once. Once you actually purchase your first pack, you should just use that money to then keep increasing. Um, or it works for you and you want to put a shred load of money in there because you want to get a higher pack, which is up to you. So the way we're going to move our money to Exodus is via, well, a couple of apps. One is Uphold, okay? I'm not gonna touch too much on this, okay? But if we have a little look at Uphold, this is what it looks like. Um, register with them. A few things to know with Uphold is when you do set up your account and you transfer the money to Uphold, you have to wait 24 hours before you can then transfer that to Exodus. Or from there, transfer it directly to um, CashFX. For me personally, that's not the way I do it, but it's an option to have. Um, another option is YRX. Okay, this is something I do recommend. Okay, I do recommend YRX. This is what it looks like. Okay, um, I suggest you register with um, YRX. Just like any of these things, you're going to need proof of identity with you when you do so. So have that with you. Do it on your phone. You can set it up on your phone, which is recommended because you can take a picture of your ID. You can take a picture of yourself. It's the usual know your customer type of stuff. Um, register with um, YRX. From YRX then, any money you put on there, you can send straight to Exodus, where it'll then become Bitcoin. And then from Exodus then, you can then transfer it to CFX. Now, what I like with YRX is... This is where I'll be sending my money from Exodus to YRX. And what I like about YRX is you can actually have your own card. So this is the reason why I've moved from Uphold to YRX is that now when funds go to YRX, I can just simply use the debit card to transfer the funds and use that. I could send it to my bank, which is another option. Um, but I just rather put onto another debit card and just use that as my main priority right now is really building myself in CFX and putting the money back in to keep getting more and more um, larger packs, trading packs. So that is YOX. I'm not going through too much detail of how to set them up because most of them you can work out. Um, it's not too hard. Now, another option for you, and this is an option that I like, and I think it works out for those um, in the beginning like yourself. We've got all these other apps, Uphold, YRX. But a faster way, and a way I like to do it, is just let's get the money straight from the bank 
Street Exodus. It's sitting there then in Bitcoin and we can buy then our um, trading pack. So what I want you to do is have a look at a site called BC Bitcoin. I've already put all the links in the description anyway, so you can go straight there to make sure you're in the right place. But let's have a little look at BC Bitcoin and have a look what it looks like. So this is BC Bitcoin. And what I like about these people is they're a British company. Um, they reply to emails very fast. And if you're confused or you're stuck, you've got their telephone number right there. Give them a call. Within two rings, they'll answer and talk you through everything. In even more detail than I'm talking to you now. Um, and that means a lot when I'm dealing with money. I want people there I can speak to straight away to help me if there's any problems. So BC Bitcoin is where you're going to register with these now. You're then going to transfer the money from them to Exodus. And this is how you're going to do it. You're going to click register. And when you click register, it's going to come up on this page here. Please note that we are currently unable to accept customers from the United States, okay? But if you have a little look, you'll see there's plenty of other countries where they do. So you're going to put your email address in and you're going to set yourself with a password. So I'm not going to fully register now because I've already registered with them. But when you do it, I want you to have your driving license with you. I want you to have your proof of address. And also you're going to write on a piece of paper that you've read the terms and conditions of BC Bitcoin and that you accept them and that you then sign your name. And you want to take a selfie of yourself with that. Now, when you start to register, it will tell you exactly what to write on that paper. So I'm not going to do word for word. I want you to look on there. It'll tell you. So prepare those few things and then just register. OK, it's really easy. They've got those details for know your customer. So um, they know who they're dealing with and then your account will be set up. So that's easy, and that should happen now in the next 15 minutes. So if you want to pause this video, set yourself up with BC Bitcoin. I'll explain them what to do uh, next, and we'll explain how we'll get the funds from there to Exodus. So I'm assuming now that you're registered with BC Bitcoin, and what we're going to do is transfer the funds from your bank account to Exodus using BC Bitcoin. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to log in. So you're going to log in because now you're registered. Now, when we log in, we've got at the top buy coins or sell coins. So we want to buy coins. So we're going to click the green one for buying our coins. And we've got three things. We're going to select the coin, send a payment, and retrieve the coins into our Exodus account. So it really is that simple. And this is, this is the way to go by. Um, you can be using other things, obviously, like I've said, Upwork and YRX. But this is just a lot easier. You don't want to upload your money, wait 24 hours. This is just easy. This is the way I like to do it. It's up to you what you like to do, but we'll go through step by step how you do it here now. So select the coins. We're going to select Bitcoin. Then we're going to select debit card. And then we're going to select Great British Pounds. Now in here, I've put £250, but I would recommend that you put £260. So you've got a little bit more to deal with the fluctuation of Bitcoin and the fluctuation of the dollar. Because it can affect the move up and down. Either way, if you do put too much, well, there's no problem. You've got a little bit of change left over in your exodus. If you don't put enough, you've got to go through all this again, which is something you don't want to do. So here I've selected £250, but I would recommend if you want a $300 pack to maybe put £260. This means it's going to cover any fees because there are fees when you transfer over into Bitcoin. But it also means that if currency fluctuates, which it does with Bitcoin, you'll be surprised how it moves up and down. It means you will have enough money sitting in Exodus to be able to purchase your CFX trading pack. So we've got 250 here, but I would recommend that you put in 260. Now, your wallet address. Your wallet address is where you're going to send the Bitcoin to. Now, we've already set up Exodus. So if we go into our Exodus app on our phone or on the desktop, we're going to now find where our wallet um, address is. OK, so we've gone into here and we're going to click Bitcoin. And you see here on the desktop, you've got send or receive. On a mobile, on the send side, you've got what looks like a plane taking off. And on the receive side, you've got what looks like a plane landing. 
Um, so in our case, we want to be on the right side, whether it's on your mobile or on the computer here, where we want to receive. So when we click receive, this is where we're going to get our wallet address. So you see here your Bitcoin address. That's the first one beginning, beginning in BCI, sorry, BC1. And this is the second one beginning in IMB. This is the one that we want. So it's the second one. So we'll click here, copy. And don't think that you can write this in manually because if you make one little mistake, just one mistake, that money's going to disappear in the middle of nowhere. So we want to copy paste that address straight in. So there's your wallet address. Exciting stuff. This is your first purchase of Bitcoin for some of you. So exciting times, learning something new. And this is what life is all about. So additional wallet information, Exodus. We'll put that in and click next. So order confirmation. This is where you're going to confirm whether you put the right information in. You've got two minutes to do this. So first of all, coin BTC, which is Bitcoin. Yep, that's for us. We want to check if that's the right amount. Yes, it is the right amount. And we want to then check if that's the correct wallet address because we don't want to be putting the wrong address in there because i said it will disappear into the middle of nowhere accept the terms conditions agree to the following and then select proceed to payment and this is where you select visa debit or whatever you might use whether it's a credit card for me it's visa debit for this one and put in your details like you would for any other purchase so put all your personal details in there put your card details in it's the usual type of stuff and then once you put your card details in just pay uh, click pay securely that will then process and then once it's processed it will come up say order success done you've now purchased your bitcoin brilliant so order is a success so we've now made our order that's been set to bc bitcoin and this is where now they're going to now send us 250 pounds worth of bitcoin to our exodus wallet so while we're on bc bitcoin let's just have a little look and um, we click continue on here so my account's approved, as we all know. Click on orders. This is where we're going to see our order. Um, right now, it's saying car payment successful. Once it's complete, it'll say order complete. And that's when we then know that we've got the money or the Bitcoin sitting there in Exodus. So let's jump straight into our Exodus app and let's have a little look. So I did have $100 thereabouts. Let's refresh. And now I've got over $400. So... BC Bitcoin, I paid them £250 to purchase around $300 worth of Bitcoin, and there it is now. So straight away, they've done what I want them to do. So now I'm in a position to purchase my CFX pack, so it's quite exciting. I've also set up YRX, which I'm going to use for when I take my funds out. You might have had Uphold, but remember, out of the two, YRX is a little bit better. So the final app you need to download is an app called Authy, which is to authenticate your login to CFX. And you'll set this up after you've purchased your trading pack. But for now, go to the Google Store, download Authy. This is what it looks like. This is the logo. Download that, get that onto your phone, and we'll set that up in video number three. So let's recap what we've done so far. We've set ourselves up with Exodus. We've put money into Exodus in a form of Bitcoin. We've also set up YRX if that's the one you want to use or uphold. YRX is what I recommend. You've also set up Authy, which is ready for when we've completed purchasing our pack and we need to authenticate and the CFX platform to keep it all secure. So we're now ready to move on to video number three, where we're going to purchase our trading pack but before you do do me one kind favor and subscribe like this video i'm making this video for you we made part one for you like it like this one subscribe to our channel and then click on one of these videos that should be coming up to the left of me now which is going to be for part three and let's do what we came here for let's purchase our trading pack so i'll see you on video three